Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. In this new uh, course, we'll work to create procedural shaders. Uh, in the past uh, video, we created for CTZ uh, some procedural rocks just using maps as procedural maps, displacement and something like that. So now we'll use uh, this scene to create procedural material simulating different rocks or uh, fantasy rocky uh, materials. Uh, we'll see how to create simple, uh, for example, pebble material like this one. Then we see some rocky material like this one and this one and some strange material with different properties like this one that has also some scattering um, properties and some mineral over uh, the surface. So to obtain this scene, we'll see step by step how to create this material. The material will be created using a, a V-Ray, but the material is really simple, so you can adapt the same technique also to Mentor Ray, Scanline or other rendering and dyeing. Uh, mainly the workflow will be based to create uh, different layers and details using the composite map, and all the other properties will be created just using pro uh, procedural maps like noises, uh, cellular or nested noises with mask or without mask. So we'll control all the surface properties just using procedural maps and we'll see how to add uh, a lot of detail, how to simulate more complex material like uh, this one that will use a blend material to have three different uh, surface properties inside, for example, a rocky structure uh, a scattering over the mesh and then some mineral like uh, a gold metal over the surface just in some area. So we'll see in depth how to create it, how to control uh, variation to create different um, rocks with the same material but with properties variation over the surface uh, and we'll see how to manage the workflow and with the same workflow we'll see how to create different kind of rocks and different kind of material, all replicating a lot of detail. So uh, let's start to see how to create procedural shaders with 3ds Max.